<laughs> Can we just like take a minute? <laughs> like, you know what? You all look like so fabulous. Thank you, thank you. I, I'm trying not to expose myself on daytime television. I'm like, you're gonna share and stone everyone? I like it, I like it, I like it. Sometimes that happens. Um, wait, so could you all introduce yourselves to everybody and then, oh, I see those contacts. Okay, yes, I like it, I like it. So tell everybody your drag names and how you got to your drag name. So my name is Monet Exchange, yep. and it's really simple. I was eating some, um, some sticky wings at the Dallas BBQ on Times Square. Oh, I love. And across the street was a currency exchange. I was like, that's too boring. What about money? Put an E, an accent on the E and a T, Monet, Monet Exchange. I love that. <laughs> right? You got Every good drag name should start with chicken wings. Oh my God, I love yeah, it. Yeah, oh my yeah. gosh, your eyes are beautiful Thank as well. You. Yes. Okay, so, so name and like how you came up with your name. Howdy, y'all. I'm, I'm Evie Oddly, and um, I just like threw letters in a bag, pulled them out. <laughs> 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 Like, I was like, fine, this, scene, this looks good. I'm no, like, people called me a weirdo, so <laughs> I ran with it. I was like, maybe I can make a brand out of being weird. So it's actually like a pun on even and odd, but like I said, I can't spell. I like that, <laughs> Evie. That's really cute. I was called weird too. Look at us now. Whatever. I know. Yeah. And now we're so boring. Yeah. All those, <laughs> no, all those people peaked in high school. <laughs> we're so cool. Um, okay, so name and then how you came up with your name. Hi, I'm Shay, Miss Kool-Aid if you nasty. <laughs> um, I came up with my name because my middle name is Shay and um, it's Swahili, it means beautiful boy. And oh, I, um, I came up with Kool-Aid because there's this little African riddle that's like, Shay, Shay, Kool-Aid, Shay, Confisa, Confisa, la, la, alaki, la, la, so. Alaki, la, la, Yeah, I, love that, I, love I like that. to turn up to that song, so I said, <laughs> Shay, Kool-Aid. I love that. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that that was Swahili or it meant beautiful boy. That's. Yes. I love that. And thank you. It was destiny. Yeah. I like that. Okay, okay. Raja, how about you? Look at look at what's happening. I love what's happening. Yeah. Like, yeah. okay, we. Are, so, wh how did you come up with your name? I'm Raja, and um, I got my name actually because I'm Indonesian, and in Indonesian, Raja actually means king. Oh. And also, at the time when I was first starting to do drag, Aladdin, the film had just come out, and there's a tiger named Raja, and I was also <laughs> born in the year of the tiger, so it all kind of oh, went together. Oh, that was just kind of meant to be. <laughs> I love that. The, it came, that that reminds me of um, John Legend. His last name is Legend, right? He just was like, I'm a legend. I'm going to call myself a legend. Really? I know. Oh, oh. It's Stevens. Oh, wow. I was like, but I love that he was like, nah. He's like, legend. <laughs> yeah. And I love that you were like, king. This fits. I like it. I like it. I, I should have picked a cooler name. Um, so so how, did you, how did you all get into drag? Roger, I'll start with you. I'm probably here on this panel. We, I've been doing it the longest, and I think it, it was, you know, it's been 30 years since I started doing drag for the first time. Yeah. And at that time, it was, uh, it was irreverent. It was rebellion, and it was just kind of, you know, it was just something to do, just yeah. to kind of make my parents a little It's very creative. Worried. I mean, good Lord, it's so cool. Yeah. But, so, Shay, how about you? Um, it was, like, kind of an accident. Um, I went to school for theater, and I was supposed to be um, dancing in the chorus for this all-black burlesque review called Jeezy's Juke Joint. Um, and my good friend, Jeez Louise, she sent out the email to everybody in the cast, and she was just like, in the email, she goes, if you have a solo act, please reply with the details for your act. And so naturally what I read was, you, Shea Coulee, have a solo act. And so you will be the of So I came up with a whole act. I did this number to Beyonce's song, Sugar Mama. Mm -hmm. yeah. This like, cute little burlesque number and got a standing ovation. And yes. I've never had that response ever and I was like, I think that there's something to this. Maybe I should do drag. Yeah. Well, and it feels good when you're on stage and you're doing something you love and then somebody that, you know, that Absolutely. love and, and vibe is reciprocated. That's really cool. I, I love that you filtered that as like, <laughs> they want me to do a solo. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm gonna, I, that's how I filter critiques. Like yeah. any, anytime a critic like says something, I'm just like, so you loved it. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, okay. Yeah, I feel good. Okay. Uh, so you're, I, have, I filter that. Um, so your, your parents found out you you did drag by watching Drag Race. Yes, well, you know, so again, so being in the arts, I, I, I was always coming home with like some crazy thing, right? And then right when I started doing drag, I would come home with like a, a wig like this. My mom would be like, what is that? Well, I'm like, it's this crazy performance of the Magic Flute Girl. You're not gonna believe it, we're wearing wigs. <laughs> and then I would come with like eight inch pumps. I'm like, what's with the shoes? Girl, the marriage of Figaro is getting crazy, mom. And, like, <laughs> I would just build it like that. And then, and so until I got on the show, I got cast on the show. And I started for, and the show was, it was like two weeks before the show aired. I was like, all right, here it is. And I told her about it and she was like, girl, why? 
I'm sure. Yeah, she was into it, and now my family has like group chats about it. Oh my god. And they're like, oh my god, that Maddie Morphosis. I'm like, y'all know more about the show than me than I do. I so love like, they it. love it. They love. They love it. Yeah. That's so cool. That uh -huh. doesn't happen for everybody. Everybody's yeah. not supported in like they're especially people in the arts. Like, yeah. they're like, no, I need you to get a real job. Mm -hmm. Like, that's what they always tell us. Yeah, especially <laughs> Caribbean parents. Caribbean parents are all about you. You're gonna be a doctor or a lawyer. There's no <laughs> ifs and or buts. And I'm like, I'm kind of like a lawyer. <laughs> Ish. I play one on TV. Yeah, play um, one. <laughs> so, wait, Evie, what was it like when you went back home to Denver? So, after you won? Um, uh, <laughs> no, it was just, it was the most validating experience I'd ever felt because I felt uh, like growing up that, that Denver wasn't a place for me to be anything bigger than a doctor or a lawyer, which I should have been. <laughs> but no, no, I, I just felt like I, I had so much I wanted to do and that I was never going to be able to break out and be bigger than that. And so coming home and being celebrated for like something that I, I pushed so long and so hard for. Yeah. And to see like all these people who helped build me, it was yeah. it was everything. And you know what's cool too is like you said, maybe you felt like you didn't fit in there, but what's cool is that there's other people there right now that might feel that way too and they're like you're a good example of like you can anybody anywhere can achieve anything they want we all have big dreams and no and matter where you're from yeah that's like the biggest yeah. thing i honestly learned not even just from going back home but every everywhere i've gone i've i've met the other people the people who feel yeah. like they they have no place and yeah. so um i tell them they can't sit with me <laughs> <laughs> I tell them there's no room in the end. Yeah. <laughs>